What's going on, guys? Welcome in the Vikings now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, and coming up on today's show, we're going to be diving into some of my top trade targets for the Minnesota Vikings after they did trade for Cam Robinson. But before we get into that, we're actually closing in on 40,000 subscribers here on the channel. My goal is to hit this before kickoff this Sunday. So if you guys haven't already, please help me out here at Chat Sports and hit that subscribe button. If we could somehow hit 40K, that would be awesome. But if you guys haven't, go down there and subscribe. So this is a recent trade that Quezzy cooked up. It was Cam Robinson and a seventh round conditional for a fifth round conditional. I thought this was a great trade for the Vikings. We already talked about this a little bit more early on in the week, but I don't think this is a move that restricts the Vikings from making you know, potentially more moves and some all-in moves. So I got nine trade targets for you guys. The first five are going to be all-in trade targets. And number one, how about this big fella from Tennessee? Every Vikings fan is talking about him. And man, would I love him on this football team. How about defensive tackle? Jeffrey Simmons. Now, we did get reports um, out of Tennessee that the Titans do not want to trade this guy. And for right reason. I mean, he's the backbone of the defense. He's their best player. I wouldn't want to trade him either if I was Tennessee. However, I say that to say this. If the Vikings offer the Titans a deal they can't refuse... Maybe it's two first and a third or whatever the draft capital is. I think he could be available. And this would be a move where the Vikings front office is telling the rest of that locker room, I expect a Super Bowl this season. And if they view it like that and they go trade for Jeffrey Simmons, a true blue chipper, like you think about how good Jeffrey Simmons is, he would step in day one, be the second best player on this entire team. Like really, really think about that. Like, Jefferson, he'll always be the best player on this team unless you go trade for a guy like Mahomes or Josh Allen. But Jeffrey Simmons, like, this guy is so freaking good that even if Darisol was healthy, I could make an argument, like, different positions and all, that he has more of an impact. He can get to the quarterback. He can stuff the run. If the Vikings pull off this move, my expectation would be the Vikings to make the Super Bowl. I'm not saying win it, but I would be almost disappointed if they didn't make the Super Bowl. If you went out and got Simmons, I think it would bring the whole defense together, and I'll be all in. Now another guy we got, how about a little J.C. Horn action? Now this, would move, uh, this is a move I would love for two reasons. One, it would get you a whole lot better this year, and plus it would give you a true cornerback one. You know, if you guys haven't been paying attention to what's been going on in Carolina this season, like, he has truly, truly been special. And, you know, obviously a lot of people don't watch Panthers football, so you wouldn't really understand the impact that J.C. is making. Um, but he truly is, like, one of the best young and up-and-coming corners. The Vikings also, Byron Murphy, um, Stephon Gilmore, Shaq Griffin are all not on the roster for next season. So this is a guy you would trade for him. I'd give up a first for him. You would have your cornerback of the future. I'd be all in on JC. But another corner who I think is the most underrated corner in the National Football League. How about DJ Reed, man? Um, I'll tell you this. He is – I've been saying he's better than Sauce Gardner for a little bit. I, I actually think he is significantly better than Sauce Gardner. The 5'9", 188-pound uh, corner out of Kansas State. He has gotten a ton of good reps – um, for uh, the Jets here. Um, but, uh, you know, I think DJ Reed, he is definitely a hell of a player. And I think the Vikings trade for him, like, this would be a guy that will get you significantly better this year. He still has a good runway of three to four years left. And, uh, you know, I, I would be all in on DJ Reed. I don't know what the draft capital would be. I would assume it would be maybe a first and maybe a little more. But you got to think about it from the Jets' perspective here. Like, they're probably viewing this as – you know, yes, they kind of went all in for Devontae Adams, but it, like if they would trade DJ Reed, it would almost be them saving themselves because I would expect them to go draft a quarterback this year, and if they just get more draft capital, kind of like the, what the Vikings did where they acquired that other first-round pick from the Houston Texans to have that ammunition to go trade up for somebody, like DJ Reed would 100% you know, be that option. So I would be all in on them, but number four for me, I got to go with this big fella out of uh, New York, Dexter Lawrence. Now, I don't think he is getting dealt at all. And if he gets dealt, like, one, I would be shocked, and I don't think it would be to the Minnesota Vikings. But I think this guy is probably the second-best defensive player in football behind T.J. Watt, uh, similar to Jeffrey Simmons, like I was saying. He would step in. He would be the second-best player on your team by far. Um, honestly, he could compete with Jefferson for the best player on the team. That's how good he is. I mean, he's got nine sacks from the interior of the defensive line. 
I'd be all in on him. Um, but again, New York, there is just no chance that they end up dealing him at the deadline. But how about an offensive guard from the Colts, Will Fries? Um, this dude's had a great start to his season. And he, he's just been a really good pickup for Indianapolis. And PFF grades him out extremely well. He's actually the third-rated guard um, right now in the National Football League. Overall grade, 86.9. Run block, 74.9. Pass block, 84.9. He's been really playing his... Uh, playing his tail off this season for Indy. So this would be a move where it's like, you know, we see him this weekend, obviously, in U.S. Bank, and then we're like, oh, Dalton Reisner's not as good as we thought. Ed Ingram still stinks. Maybe they go all in on a guy like Will Fries. But, you know, I'll ask you guys this. Speak your mind down below in the comments section. Do you think Quezzy will make another move? Give me a Y for yes or an N for no. I don't, See, this is tough for me. I, th I think he will. I think we'll see one more trade before Tuesday. So – I'm going to go Y for yes, but yeah, I, yeah, I think I'll go Y for yes. But again, tough since they already made a true uh, trade for Cam Robinson plus limited draft capital. We'll see if it uh, ends up coming to fruition. But coming up next, not all in trade targets, but four more realistic players that I think the Vikings could trade for. We'll talk about that here in a second. But first off, shout out to Prize Picks, today's sponsor of our show. And if you guys download the Prize Picks app, plug in promo code CLNS at prizepicks.com slash CLNS. You guys will get $50 instantly when you play $5. Best part is you don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It is guaranteed. Now, Prize Picks is the best place to get real money sports action with over 10 million members and billions of dollars in awarded winnings. Prize Picks has made daily fantasy sports accessible to all. Now, they actually have a free play for this weekend uh, with all the football games going on where you guys get a free $20, and you guys can create a lineup. I'm taking Brees Hall, Tank Dell, James Cook, and Jordan Addison to all find the end zone, and all four of those guys do that. I actually win $450. So if you guys want to tail those picks or ride with those picks, I just suggest you guys do so at Prize Picks. So download the app today. Use code CLNS to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. Download the app today. Use code CLNS to get $50 instantly after you play your first $5 lineup. Shout out to Prize Picks. Run your game. All right, let's talk about some more realistic trade targets for our Minnesota Vikings. Number one being Greg Newsom II. Um, is a very intelligent player coming out of Northwestern, still very young. He's 24 years old, and this is a guy who would be a perfect scheme fit, plug-and-play right away type of guy. He can play multiple positions. He can even play some safety for you, but he excels in the nickel. I would love him on the Vikes, um, and I think you could probably swing him for maybe a third, fourth-round pick. Maybe you do the same trade you had with Cam Robinson to get this guy. I mean, you still got a fifth-round pick for next season. I could see, you know, Quasi just putting that on the table. But Greg Newsome, man, I mean, sign me up. He would be, he would be a perfect fit, and he would add some more talent to a defense that, in my opinion – they have played well, but they could definitely use it. But how about B.J. Hill, defensive tackle for the Bengals? And, you know, we talk about Simmons. We talk about Dexter Lawrence. But I think this guy would be a more realistic option. And, you know, he's a veteran in the league, 29 years old. Uh, he's been with the Bengals for a hot minute now. And, you know, he's just a prototypical defensive, you know, lineman stuffer. But he, the one thing I've noticed on tape with him, he does a great job of getting his hands in passing lanes. Like, once he knows, like, hey, I can't beat this guard or center, or whatever it may be, he'll pop up, throw his hands up in there, and he'll deflect the pass. Um, so I think B.J. Hill, he would be a good pickup as well. But what about cornerback Nate Hobbs of the Las Vegas Raiders? Again, not a guy that is going to move the needle by any means, but he would add another young physical cornerback to this room, which I think the Vikings need. And, you know, with all of those guys, um, you know, hitting free agency next season – it's going to be interesting to see if Quasi, you know, makes a move now or if he waits till free agency. But if he makes a move now, I think Nate Hobbs could be that guy. Um, you know, Quasi's always taking chances on guys who have, you know, maybe not have panned out to their expectations heading into the league. But if they got talent, you know he's going to be calling Las Vegas trying to swing a move. And, you know, my last one for me is probably my favorite and most realistic trade target. It's a journeyman. It's a veteran. Clayus Campbell. Uh, you guys aren't going to believe this. Calais is 38 years old and you know I think we all talk about uh you know LeBron always beating father time and you know LeBron definitely has but I think what Calais is doing is honestly more impressive playing defensive tackle in the NFL until the age of 38 like that's insane and even look at his production this year 22 tackles two sacks seven TFLs a forced fumble three PBUs five quarterback hits like he's still productive at his age 38 season the Dolphins they're not having a good year Maybe Quasi calls them, 
swings a sixth, seventh round pick swap. And if he, you know, if you would add him to this unit, he's not going to be an every down lineman, but on big time moments, big time plays, third and long, third and short, expect him to be on the football field. But I just gave you guys nine names of players I think the Vikings can trade for. You guys only got to give me one. Name a player you want Minnesota to trade for down below in the comments section. Also, I'm on Twitter, at Pat Seeps. Give me a follow over there, and I'll follow you guys right back. But as always, let's go Vikes, baby.